Ready for work, Zach? Yay! <laughs> Total motivation. Always. I'm bored. That's up here. Someone else I'm tying the line for a change. Well, Zach is working for this company called Red Sail as a photographer, and uh, he those boats they go out to a place called Stingray City, where you can uh, swim with the waves, which is going to be awesome. Uh, so I'm on this catamaran right now, and we're about to take off to this little. Is it an island? No, it's not an island. Sandbar. It's a sandbar where those rays are, and then we're going to go to another point called Rum Point. We seem to have some rum. And, uh, well, I hope it's going to be a fantastic day. I'm going to play towards it. I have to admit that this is the first time for me on a moving catamaran and of course I had to ask the captain if I could steer that big lady just to see what it's like to be at the helm of a catamaran. Stingway food. Tasty. I know, it looks lovely. Right. Is that what you're going to feed us today? Yeah, that's dinner. It's going straight on the barbecue. Right on top of the head guys where their eyes are located. Just beyond those eyes, there are two openings known as spherical. Right? This is what they use to flush water over their gills. And it's very important you keep those holes underwater. That way the stingray can continue to breathe. All right? If you hold those holes out of the water, it'd be the same feeling as if someone were to take your head and hold it underwater. All right? Carl is in Georgetown on the morning because you're actually not allowed to anchor in Cayman. And this is where we left from with the catamaran to sail to a sandbar in the Northern Sound and then over to Rum Point and back again. When I arrived in Cayman my engine did not start again and a friend of mine, Andrew, had told me about some friends of his, Jeff and Kim, who had offered me to stay at their private dock in Governor's Creek to figure out what was actually going on with my engine. Andrew was one of the boats that sailed um, parallel with me from Cuba to Cayman and he's offered me to help me move Carl without the engine from the mooring in Georgetown over to Governor's Creek. We had perfect sailing conditions and Carl was really really fast. And we had to sail through the kind of like narrow reef entrance and then right into Governor's Creek where finally we hooked up with um, Jeff's motorboat and he towed Carl for the rest of the quite narrow passage up to his private dock.
something really special. Um, Andrew invited me to one of his friend's house to play underwater hockey, which I haven't even heard of before. But I have to say it was really amazing. It was a lot of fun. It was pretty crazy. Um, it's quite the battle as well. It's a bit like underwater rugby. Um, so you have, you have to wear these gloves as well because otherwise you scrub your hands and then you get a tiny little stick. It's about that long. And um, you wear a mask and clippers. And well, yeah, it's like hockey, but just small sticks basically, and underwater, obviously. Uh, and we played in teams of five. Uh, it was just, it was a lot of fun. And I even scored a goal. Only in the warm up phase, but it was a goal. It was fun. Maybe they let me, but who knows? I won't, yeah. You know, I don't mind. After a good game of underwater polo, you need to have a good meal. And what we're gonna have tonight is jerk chicken. So, believe it or not, I don't know what jerk chicken is. Can you explain it to me? What? I don't. What kind of spices are in it? You don't know? Onion, skin, thyme, pepper. The rest I cannot give you. Sounds pretty yummy. Yeah, can I give all the best recipe? Ah, oh, no, I just wanted to know, like, in general. <laughs> I did, they were on vacation when I was there. Yeah. It's beautiful, it is. How much is nicer than doing that? It's out here. One of the things that, a few things that comes with is being underwater. Mm -hmm. Just exactly. looking out, looking inside. Just looking at oh. the horizon, yeah. yeah it calms you, man. Yeah. Really, really nice. But I have lots of medicine for others. Well, now it's time to figure out what's wrong with Carl's engine and to explore the Cayman Islands a little bit more. But more about that next week.